How is this like actually semi viable? I don't get it. There is no escape! <laughs> there is no escape! There is no escape! There is no escape! God damn, there's not even abusing the subscribe bug. Get the fruit! Get the fruit! Help me get the fruit! Alright, alright. Yes, correct, yes, correct. Careful, oh! Okay, I got the fruit! I got the fruit! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What happened? My bad. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I got the fruit. And anyone who does have an unusual is really lucky. <laughs> So what is this loadout? Well, it's very carefully designed around one weapon in specific, the Battle Axe. The Battle Axe is a very simple weapon. You deal more damage, but you walk slower. Why did I choose this weapon in specific, you might ask? Well, it's for the very intellectually complex fact that the axe deals 20% more damage in stock, so it's clearly the best weapon. Now, a sane person will obviously pair this with the shield, and while that's a valid choice, I have my own pick that got stuck on my mind. The Sticky Jumper, a secondary weapon which deals no damage in return of an unreasonable amount of mobility. Oh, but shields can trim, and they're much more manageable than So now we're left with the primary slot empty. Gallery greasers do work, but because we'll be walking a whole lot slower because of the battle axe's one downside, so I opted for the squire boots. I understand this is meant to be paired with one of the shields and the fact that I'm neglecting half of the stats in this weapon by using the sticky jumper, but listen. The speed boost completely negates the downside of the battle axe and gives extra 25 health, so it's obvious that the squire boots is the superior choice. So, does it work? Well... This strangely matched loadout works surprisingly effective, but it's not going to work that well on a closed map like Defrost, but in open maps like Airport and Rooftop, this loadout works insanely well. The increased damage of the axe ensures death upon any flankers to come across you, but just don't act stupid and press W every time you see a flanker even though you're probably really tempted to. And I highly recommend taking advantage of that longer reach of the battle axe to catch flankers that are attempting to run away from you. Now the thing about sticky jumping in general is that you tend to stomp more than usual. Combine the stomp damage with the battle axe's high damage output and you'll be able to kill almost any class effortlessly. Now one thing you have to watch out are these motherfuckers. Any sentries can bring you down to nothing. Level 3s to mini sentries can be a bothersome issue to this playstyle. I will say mini sentries tend to be more slightly bearable because the higher health pool you get allows you to approach mini sentries and destroy it before I die to an unhealthy dose of annoyance. Now, if you come across the level 3, oh, you son of a. Isn't that the dude from Vicky? Yeah, uh, you know why I hate him? It's, 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 this is the same guy who made a fucking. <laughs> God damn it, you suck. <laughs>